Praise the Lord. This is the Hot Man a Minute, and we got a quick little Bible study today. Praise Jesus. Today I got uh, Lisa with me. Hey guys. And we are examining, we've been examining several scriptures, but one of them I want to highlight to you. And we're going to look at the English, and then we're going to look at the Greek, because there's a couple little mysteries and nuggets wrapped up in it. Praise the Lord. So... So, so, so. I think it was in Galatians. Paul says, if anybody else brings a, the, the gospel to you other than what that which I have preached, let him be accursed. And we live in a very dark and deceptive day and age. We live in a day and age with social media, modern technology, and all this chaos and craziness, and the judgment upon these nations, and all the things being poured out. There's so much darkness and false teaching and, and heresy well, thank you, baby. It's Galatians 1, 8 through 12. Paul says that, for especially verse 12. Thank you. You're welcome. So we have to be very careful, and we cannot do any of this in our own strength. We can only do it through the Holy Spirit of God. Amen? Amen. And, I, and Paul was dealing with these things, and there's nothing new under the sun. Amen? And this is the gospel. This is the gospel that anything other than this is a curse, and the gospel is this. Jesus Christ, fully God, fully man, came to this earth and died for the sins of mankind. He died on a cross, and after three days, he was resurrected and then ascended into heaven. His spirit was poured out in power upon his disciples, creating his church here upon the earth. Now, if you believe this, and you engage the Lord Jesus Christ in a relationship with the living God, you are saved, Amen. okay? Repent from your sin, turn from your sin, Live a godly life and follow the Lamb wherever He goes. Now, if you teach anything other than that, I'm sorry, friends, but that is a curse. And Paul declares it in Galatians 1, and it is a curse. So I want to look at what Paul writes here in 2 Timothy 4. Okay, we're going to examine this today. 2 Timothy uh, chapter 4, we're going to look at verses 3, 4, and 5. It says, and it's talking about now. This is for now. This is for you. This is for me. For the time will come when they do not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires. Because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth, and being turned aside to fables. But, this is to you, brother and sister, watching this video, this channel is only for a remnant. And this is for you, the remnant of God, the last day's remnant of the body of Jesus Christ, Poured out upon the face of the earth today. Be watchful in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. And fulfill your ministry. Now I want to examine this, this verse right here in the Greek. Okay. Here's the same thing in Greek. It's written a little different. This is 2 Timothy 4, 5. It reads right to left. It says, you ho however be sober. Look at the definition. To be sober. To be calm. To be vigilant and circumspect. Those are the four characteristics you need to manifest through Christ Jesus. You, however, be sober in all things. Endure afflictions. Look at the breakdown of the definition. To suffer evil and endure affliction. The work due of an evangelist, the ministry of you, fully carry out. So listen, there's a lot of heresy. There's a lot of heresy. We are not gods, okay? We are not gods, we are not fallen angels. We are created from the dust of the earth. If anybody comes to you saying that, that gospel is accursed. It is not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, brothers and sisters, and if you hear what I'm saying right now, and the Spirit of God right now is touching you and bringing confirmation to you, to the words that are coming out of my mouth, you need to get on your knees and thank God before heaven right now that he allows you to see in this hour. And we need to pray for the brothers and sisters that cannot see in this hour. That veil of fog of deception is already encrouched over them. They give more heed to the God of this world than the God of the universe, the living God. They give more heed and understanding and they're paying attention always to what the God of this lowercase g of this world is doing and not to what the living God is doing for eternity. This time will pass Everything will be burned up, and the God of this age will be cast into hellfire for eternity. But the God of the living, we will spend eternity with Him in unity, 
It's every day in revelation with him, receiving new, fresh revelation every day from his spirit and living together through him. So brothers and sisters, if you can see clearly in this hour, pray for those that can, because the deception is getting thicker and thicker by the day. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. May the Lord Jesus Christ keep you. May the Lord Jesus Christ's spirit be poured out upon you. And may he use you mightily in your ministry for him in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.